Dali and Nisa Saviero, and we're going to talk about this is death, how to protect yourself, be you one of the hackers. Okay, now objectives are learn more about ID, and this is death, and how to protect yourself, how can I become somebody else, ways of stealing and this is death, ways of profession, and can you erase the bad record you already have if you know, you get hacker. Okay, the definition. Identity theft is when someone says your identity and your personal information, um, which is intended to commit a crime or fraud. Eventually, they become you, and they can get your name, and your social security, whatever, and they just become you. <coughs> Why is it in your ID? Okay, there's a couple of ways here. Dump the trash, which is going to like, go to your trash, they steal your trash. And skimming, which is when they steal your credit card, your social security number, um, your billing, your payment, what else? Fishing. It's like when they pretend to be a financial institution, they steal your. Um, Yeah, this is your credit card, your statements, they put it to be the bank, you can get an email scan, and when you change your address, if you go to a wrong location, this is your, um, your mail, the old fashioned, which is stealing your wallet and stuff, um, pretexting, which is, but they put it to be um, like the credit card company, um, download the music, and through wireless connection. And here we have oh, the type of financial theft, credit card fraud, phone, bank fraud, employment, government, loan, others. <coughs> okay, how to protect yourself? Uh, you can either register for the life lock, uh, number one, that's online. Uh, you can protect your identity theft by, you know, keeping your personal personal information safe, and they have the most advanced identity theft protection available on uh, this website, um, lifelove.com. You can either get your monthly annual record reports, um, be, you know, you always be aware of checking your bill statement. <coughs> Okay, after being a victim or ID theft, you can change your name, um, but you can only change your security if you have proof that you have been abused of the ID theft or the Mexican violence. <coughs> and it has to be the main that one, I'm not sure. Two characters. O W. Probably that's it. Mm? Just at O W at the end. Where? S H O W. Thank you. 
Like typical teens, Nicole and Krista Nucci love downloading and sharing music off the web. I'd see them in there listening and doing their homework, and that was it. I didn't think anything of it. But what parents Kathy and Tony didn't know is that same file sharing software used by their kids can also be used by thieves to enter their family computer and steal their identities. By having some of these file sharing programs, you're basically leaving the keys in your car. You're leaving the keys in the car, unlocked, window down, just inviting someone. Todd Davis and Bob Bobak are identity theft security experts. They say file sharing programs are so popular because they allow users to swap music and videos for free. But they can also have a dark side by giving thieves access to everything on your computer. On the hard drive might be your bank account records, your online shopping, your tax returns. All of that information is now shared with the world without your knowledge. The Bucci's always saved a copy of their tax returns. When you're doing it, you don't think, geez, if I save this on here, somebody's going to get it. But we got it. This is frightening. Very. By entering a simple search on a file-sharing network, our experts found the Bucci's return and more than 150,000 others just in New York State. We can pull up these individuals and see their social security numbers, their children's social security numbers, everything that they paid for in their taxes. Instantly. And what can you do with that kind of information? I mean, talk about the damage. Those are the keys to the kingdom. We found your taxes, all your information. It was a shocking revelation for the Bucci's, who said their tax return was actually stolen last year by an identity thief and fraudulently submitted to the IRS. The person took our refund through the computer. They had it wired to another account elsewhere. They could never figure out exactly where that money went. A refund of $2,000 needed for their kids' college educations, now gone. You feel violated. Like everything you've ever worked for is basically on a piece of paper and it's floating around out there. And if your computer has one of these programs, your personal documents could be out there too. In our search, we found over 25,000 student loan applications and more than 600,000 credit reports easily accessible by anyone on these networks. Once it's out there, it only takes a matter of days before it's in the hands of multiple bad guys because tens of thousands every day are looking for your personal information. Take Seattle thief Gregory Coppola. Last year, he was sentenced to four years in prison after he used the file sharing program LimeWire to steal people's information off their computers and take out dozens of credit accounts in their names. We have several cases that we are working that illustrate the type of methodology used by Mr. Coppola. And once your information's been accessed, Secret Service agent Andrew Vanillo says it can be sold around the world on criminal web forums like these. So credit card numbers go anywhere from $30